is done. Your agreement is signed and you are officially divorced. Yet, navigating the dating world after divorce can be daunting. What does dating even look like anymore? How do you know when you're ready to move on? How can you avoid not making the same mistake twice? You would think that after a first marriage, you would be better equipped to pick a new partner, right? You figure anyone who's the opposite of your ex would be a good choice. If your first marriage didn't work, it was probably because your husband wasn't a good fit for you. So if you select someone entirely different for a second marriage, it should be everlasting. It makes logical sense, right? Not quite. The truth is, instead of being a better judge of relationships post-divorce, we tend to be a worse judge, and the data confirms this. According to a U.S. Census Bureau survey, the marriage breakup rate for first marriages is 41 to 50 percent. It climbs to a staggering 60 to 67 percent for second marriages, and for third marriages, it's a jaw-dropping 70 to 74 percent. So what the hell is happening here? The statistics show us we aren't getting wiser, but really quite the opposite. You are worthy of a kind, loving, respectful relationship, and yet so many of us end up in another failed marriage. I share this with you not to scare or discourage you about dating post-divorce, but to tell you that the business of moving on should be done with intention and thought. What if I told you that finding a healthy relationship post-divorce is entirely possible, but only if you're clear about your own role in the dating process? This has very little to do with the other person and everything to do with you. In other words, you are in the driver's seat, so make sure you don't get distracted while your hands are on the wheel. No matter how attractive a person's potential may be, you have to date their reality. You must be clear about what you need in a relationship. You know that nagging feeling that creeps up when something doesn't feel just right? Pay attention to it, because over time it will become amplified. Your friends might have an opinion about when you should start dating after your divorce. They might tell you it's time to get back out there. They might push you to set up an online profile. They might try to set you up with someone they know. But don't start dating until you are healed. Don't start dating until you have fully grieved. The time frame might look different for everyone. Take the time you need to become a whole version of yourself and don't expect someone else to do that job. When you can bring your whole healed self to a relationship, you can show up authentically and you'll be able to identify when something isn't working. Oh, and something else. Don't start dating while your divorce is pending. I can't guarantee an outcome in court, but I'm willing to bet that relationship you start before you're divorced will not last. You just aren't ready yet. And remember, when you start dating, have fun and be safe. I made all of the mistakes I speak about today, but somewhere along the way I figured it out and that's why I want to share this with you. You can be happy again.